welcome student to the second le lesson of this course industrial wastewater treatment last lecture we talk about use of water sources of wastewater and characteristics and today we will go in little detail about how to understand characteristics of wastewater how sampling and analysis is done and what is the significance of treatability studies for this wastewater so this is the outline of the second lesson Now let's focus on characterization survey. From industry to industry, the processes are different because products are different. In similar industry also, the processes used are different, raw material are different, manufacturing quantities are different some of the industry operate throughout the year and continuous some industry they are seasonal like sugar industry some use batch processes like dairy hence there is significant variation in quantity and quality of wastewater this variation can be hourly, daily and even seasonal and hence to understand the characteristics of wastewater for any industry the very first step is to conduct characterization survey. What it is? It's a spatial survey done to estimate average volume and average values of different parameters related to wastewater. So to do characterization survey, we do composite sampling, right? So this is spatial sampling procedure where the duration of sampling completes or covers one uh, cycle, complete cycle of production and if the industry is not operating in batch then normally 24 hours is the time period of characterization survey and composite sampling. Duration of sampling 24 hours which is further broken for every one or two hours you take sample from the same site or drain which receives wastewater from all the units okay at a time 150 to 200 ml of sample it is collected and transfer into large container with total volume 3 to 4 liter at the end of 24 hours period. Once the sampling duration is over, you have mixture of sample collected over the time period. Then you mix the sample thoroughly and parameters which change with time they are to be determined on site that is pH, temperature, dissolved oxygen. After this you write down the values of this parameter on the label of the sample and then 
the sample is sent to laboratory for further analysis. While taking sample simultaneously at the same location, we also measure flow. What is the flow of wastewater? So, every time you collect sample, there is determination of flow and then sample is collected at the end of sampling time, uh, period you have mixture of the sample collected which is called composite sampling. Now once you get result of analysis of this sample what happens you get average value for flow rate and total flow of the wastewater, then you get average concentration of various parameter because we cannot design affluent treatment plant based on extreme value or highest value, but it is always designed for average characteristics. And once you know the characteristics of wastewater at the inlet, you can decide the efficiency of various treatment required for the wastewater to meet stipulated affluent standards at the disposal end. So now, let us think about meaning of word standard with respect to water or wastewater quality. Water quality you might be knowing. So, what is the significance of word standard? You might have thought on various meaning of word standard with uh, respect to water quality, even air quality. So, standard term refers to any rule, principle or measurement which is established by authority in power. Standard has official backing and in simple word, standards are concentration which are to be maintained to achieve the stated object. So, if you apply to wastewater, it is term or upper concentration limit which should not be exceeded. Okay. So, this is the meaning of word standard. Now, normally for water quality monitoring, we have different types of standard. First one is drinking water standard. Second one is affluent standard, which refers to standards to be met by treated wastewater before disposal. And third, stream standards that is for uh, indicator of quality of water flowing in streams and rivers. So, for this course we will refer to affluent standards and the treated wastewater must meet this affluent standard before industry can dispose it. So, various affluent standards in India earlier, it was IS2490, IS3306, IS3307. So, the most important was IS2490 published in 1981. With establishment of Ministry of Environment, Forest and now 
Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. The standards have been revised and general standards are given as per Schedule 6 of Environment Protection Act. Using this standards as guideline, the State Pollution Control Board specifies various standards for different parameters of wastewater for any industry while granting consent under Water Act. So, for each industry, the wastewater must be met with which standard they are specified in the consent. Okay. So, I hope you have understood meaning and significance of affluent standard and the industry must take all the efforts and measures to make sure that treated wastewater meets this standard specified in consent. Now, before construction of ETP, the wastewater is subjected to treatability studies and the objective of this is to find out best treatment option for wastewater because there are so many methods, so many options available for treatment of wastewater and we have to choose one with optimum efficiency and cost. So, for this first step is to prepare lab scale model, carry out various treatment at lab scale and find out the one which is suitable which gives required efficiency. Now, lab scale experiments results are considered and normally the parameters considered during this lab scale model development are hydraulic retention time for various unit, chemical requirement for coagulation or adsorption and other chemical treatment, organic loading especially for biological treatment, F by M ratio and then the treatment system which gives you optimum value are selected. Once lab trials are over, the second step is to conduct pilot plant studies. Now, what is this pilot plant? It is a plant or model which is larger than laboratory scale but much smaller than the treatment plant scale and its objective is to simulate the actual condition of full scale ETP to find out best treatment option for the waste water. So, lab scale study we use and decide the scale of pilot plant and based on the result of pilot plant studies, the final selection of various treatment units is done and hence these studies are very important. They are also used for selection of material of construction for various units of ETP and whether automation will be required 
and even for estimation of operation and maintenance cost. So, here we are completing the first unit of the course and I hope you have understood the concept and you are enjoying. Thank you.